everybody my name is King Slayer and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and on my ride back to the camp I just stumbled upon the KKK and they finna get a piece of Arthur You freaking scumbags! Where you think you going, boy? Nah, I know this man just did. I'm finna end this man's whole career. Get down. Where my hat? God damn hooded rodents. I'll kill all you bastards. Arthur single handedly took down the KKK. And that's how it's done. What an interesting way to start off this video. I just happened to look into the trees and I seen fire and I knew it was the KKK. You freaking scumbags. And I'm gonna rob this last dude and then I'm gonna be on my way to camp. Yep, okay. Alright, come on Leah. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, girl. Gotta make it there as fast as possible so the people don't have to watch this long horse ride. Come on, girl. Come on. We gotta still give Jack his book. We already gave Sadie her harmonica. We gotta find... Um... What do we gotta find? We gotta find Mary a pen. And we gotta find Tilly a necklace. So we got a lot to do. Right, 
I hope we almost here. I'm letting her stamina build back up. And all these hogs and stuff squealing. Come on, girl. Let's get there. Posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. Wait. Okay, morning is in three hours, so we're going to let Arthur get a little rest. Now let's change clothes. For now, we're going to go with this. Good morning. You good, Abigail? Hold up, Abigail, where's Jack? Morning, Arthur. Good morning. Hey. Where's Jack? Why don't you sit, Arthur? Pearson. I'm looking for Jack, man. 
There you are, kid. Hey, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. He gave me a chocolate bar. <laughs> oh, my baby Sadie. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. When are we going to play dominoes again? Yeah, maybe. I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, lost it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I sure did find one. Please take this. Uh, off that lady I um, did that bounty on, I think. But, um, let's go talk to Dutch. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's All right, time. I got you. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long Come on, Leah. Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. You know, I'm noticing Leah is big, well, like, almost way bigger than Dutch's horse. Passing you. Okay, go. Why don't we just fish here? It's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for and Jose's. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels hey, good here. You did well. Us three Ride together spot, is the American flag. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Mm. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. 
you'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law mm. up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big Come on, buddy. Guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! Come on, girl. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Ooh. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Come on, girl. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh my freaking gosh! Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. Come on. Come on. Come on. You think you can jump on there? Me? I'm me. Try. Because you ride like my grandmother. You are so Shut the freak up. Oh, get off me. I am Arthur freaking Morgan. And yet, I cannot shoot them. Get you, boy. It's just us then, lawman. Come here. We need to bother. Let me go. Can't do no. I can do this all day. Come on. Come on. Come at me. Boy, boy, punk. Come here, punk. Boy. Oh, you cut me. Always oh, on. Oh, come here. I'm finna. I'm gonna hurt you now. Come here. <clears throat> Oh, you knocked off my freaking hat. Try at least. Wasting my 
<clears throat> Son of a bitch. Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Get up. like quite a commotion is that him i sincerely hope so old anders anderson so what now we take him in come on a fine job well done and a pat on the back for me for stopping the train load anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to sheriff gray all right there you go you are a natural all right let's take him in Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Mm. Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know mm -hmm. what the Braith waits. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general mm. store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Mm -hmm. Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. If he wakes up, I'll put him back to sleep for what he did. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go. No more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these All better right. be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, falling out of rebel gold, marrying cousins, not marrying... Arthur, Jose, you start poking around. 
See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna end the episode right here. If you enjoy it, please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.